We'll guide you through how to make a Gantt chart in Excel. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, have your data ready. You need to start and end date. And we're gonna to need to add another column called duration. And what we need to do is work this out. So type in a formula by pressing equals, and then you select the end date, and then type in the minus symbol and select the start date. It should look like that, that. Press enter and it'll calculate it. Then click, hold and drag in the bottom right of the cell and drag down and it'll then go and calculate the timeframes. Now what you need to do is go and select the start column and then you want to go to the top, click on insert and go and find charts. Click on recommended charts and you want to click on all charts at the top, select bar and select stacked bar like so and go and click okay. Click and drag the chart out of the way and then right click on it and click on select data. And then what you wanna do is go and click on add. For the series name, select duration and come to series values. Just delete what's currently in there and then go and select the values like so. And you can go and click okay. With duration selected, go and click on edit in the horizontal. And then what you wanna do is go and select the labels here. And as you can see, it's now added them. Click okay. Click OK and select data source to go and close it. Right click on one of the start bars and you can then select fill at the top and you want to go and select no fill. Now what we want to do is go and fix these dates at the bottom here. So first of all, grab the first start date and go and place that in a cell and grab the last end date and place that in a cell as well. Now select those two cells and go into home and at the top here, you can go and choose the format just go and put it to general, like so. Now go and click on the dates at the bottom here and right click and you want to click on format axis. Come over to the right and you want to go and set the minimum to the start date, which we put just here. After you've typed it in, press enter like so and then put the end date as the maximum. After you've typed it in, press enter just like so and we've now fixed it. Now what we want to do is go and flip this round so it starts at the top. So all you need to do is go and select the labels and then right click on them and you want to click on format axis and come over to the right and click on categories in reverse order. And so there you have it, you've now got a Gantt chart. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.